Have you ever noticed that some people are just great at making decisions? They just seem to know the right thing to do. And sure, sometimes that's instinct. Some of us just have that natural instinct. But a lot of times, the person just knows which questions to ask in which situations. Welcome to The Productivity Show, a podcast where we believe you can get the important things done without sacrificing your health, your family, and things that matter to you. My name is Brooks from Asian Efficiency, where we help people become more productive at work and in life. And today is another Wisdom Wednesday episode where you'll get actionable productivity advice in less than 10 minutes. The topic today is related to the concept of thinking time, and that is how to find the right questions to ask to make better decisions. It's one of the skills that we teach in our 25X Productivity System course. Now, we should probably start by defining what we mean by thinking time. Let's say you have a decision to make. You can think of something from your own life, your own work, but I'll give an example. Let's say you're a graphic designer, you're working at a company, and you want to start your own business and go freelance someday, or at least maybe you think you want to. Well, you can say someday for years, and it can be scary, right? You could think of a hundred reasons not to do it, and then another hundred after that. Well, thinking time means instead of just dreaming or doing whatever comes off the top of your head at first, it's making time to think with clarifying questions to get to the best solution to your situation, given the information that you have. And I'll be honest, it might not be easy to make time to do this at first. We are always great at finding time to do things, but it's not so easy to justify to ourselves and sometimes to others time to just think. But Thinking time is a true productivity boss move. If you ask the right questions, and that's what this episode is about, sometimes you can eliminate steps, you can avoid wasted time and rework, and you can save yourself from situations that maybe you shouldn't have been in in the first place. Okay, so thinking time sounds great, but how do you come up for the questions to ask yourself? Well, the specific questions that you use will be different depending on your situation, of course, but don't worry, I'm not going to leave you hanging there. I'm going to give some ideas and examples. And the first set of questions I want to give are called thought experiments. And this comes from the book, The Personal MBA by Josh Kaufman. And he talks about this concept of thought experiments. And these are what if, or what would happen if, or what would have to be true if type questions. These are great questions to ask because you can just let your brain go wild and imagine anything you want with no risk, no downside. And it's actually quite remarkable what you can come up with if you give yourself permission and time to actually do it. So some examples of thought experiments you might ask yourself are, what would happen if I worked from home in my basement all day and didn't have any coworkers around me? (laughs) Might be projecting there a little bit. (laughs) It could also be, what would have to be true for me to leave my job by June 30th? Or it could be, what if it took me six months to land my first client? Would that be okay? What's the worst that could happen? So these thought experiments are really powerful for just exploring ideas. The next set of questions are more tactical and they're called how do I questions. You're wanting to generate ideas for how to make something happen or maybe not happen as the case may be. So some examples of how do I questions might be, how do I get to freelance clients while working my current job? Or how do I get out of my Sunday soccer league that I hate anyways so that I have more time to build my freelance business? Or what skills do I need to learn more modern tools like Figma or Miro instead of the tools I've been using at my work? So how do I questions are more tactical and they're more figuring things out. The next set of questions are kind of similar to how questions and these are why questions. So either you're asking why something is or is not, of course, a certain way. So questions like, why can't I leave my job today? You know, forget about June 30th. Why can't I do it today? Or why did my first freelance prospect reject my proposal? Or maybe why do I want to leave my job in the first place? Another example could be, why can't I just freelance as a side hustle and keep working here in my job? What's wrong with doing that? So exploring these why questions can really help crystallize for you why something is or isn't a certain way. And then that will naturally lead you to figuring out, okay, now that we know why, what can we do about it? So you get the idea. These are just some examples of questions you can ask yourself for thinking time. You can apply those 
types of questions to your own situation. But I do have one more source that you can use and don't laugh, <laughs> it's ChatGPT. By now you've probably heard of ChatGPT. It's the AI tool that you can have conversations with and get answers. And so if you wanna come up with questions for thinking time, you can ask ChatGPT. So for example, running with our graphic designer freelancer example, you can literally ask ChatGPT the question, what are some questions I should ask myself if I was thinking of leaving my graphic design job to freelance? And it will give you 10 useful questions that you can ask yourself and that you can use for thinking time. And then if you want, you can ask for say 10 more or five different ones, or you can deep dive on any of the questions, or you can ask for more details on a specific topic or a theme. ChatGPT is really useful for generating questions that you may never have thought of yourself. So to get started, come up with five questions on your situation, maybe one from each question. So the thought experiment, the how do I, the why do I, and then maybe a few from ChatGPT. Then carve out at least 30 minutes on your schedule this next week to go through the questions. Then you'll have an idea of what you need to do to get from where you are now to where you want to be. Thanks so much for listening to The Productivity Show, and I'll see you next time.